Hello, good evening, guys. Hello, Tisha. How are you? How do you feel today? I have a flu. <gasps> really? You're sick? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we I, hope you get better. I mm -hmm. say, uh, yeah, as a listener. Hey. Hey. Yes, Maurice. Okay, got it. Okay, perfect. Uh, good evening, Claudia. Good evening, Marina. Good evening, Carlos, Vladimir, and Pablo. Hey. How are you? Mm, very busy, still working from my house. Really? You're still working? Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. So mm. it's been a really busy day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what about you, Marina? I am. Um, um, I don't say. Yeah, try. Mm -hmm. Try. Yeah, okay, are you good? So, so happy. So, so. So, so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, perfect. Well, um, we also have Carlos Vladimir and we have Pablo. I don't know if you are there, guys. Okay. But, well, today we are going to start uh, with grammar. Okay. So, the main topic for today is going to be could and might. Yeah. So, we are going to study could and might to make suggestions. Yeah. And we are going to introduce also new menu items. All right. So, we are going to learn how to introduce new menu items and we're going to work on pages 14 and 16. Then we also have a speaking time and we also have listening quizzes, all right? We also have grammar uh, quizzes and listening quizzes. All right, so well, uh, let me see. We are going to start then with our class and okay, guys. Well, uh, I already asked you how was your day? Right, so in this case, I think that you all have been very busy, right? Then we are going to start, and we are going to start with vocabulary, yeah? Let's see. Um, okay, help us reading the vocabulary. Are you there, Carlos Vladimir? Mm. Repeat, please. Yes. Okay. So, can you please help us reading the definitions? Okay. Okay. Yes. Only definition of um. Yes. The the um this line and then this line because we okay. need order. Yeah. Okay. Policy stands. Personality in incentive building, bund bundling, public relation. Loyalty offering sampling. Okay, now the definitions. Okay, personally incentive, mm -hmm. the promotion of a product by distributing sample of it, mm -hmm. of it, offering several products for sales as one combined product, the professional maintenance of a favorite, uh, favorable public image. Planet even design to attract attract the public attention. Thank you. All right. So in this case, we are going to work first on pronunciation. All right. Mm -hmm. So in this case, personalized incentive. Personalized incentive. Mm -hmm. personalized yeah. incentive. Perfect. All right. Now repeat after me, uh, Carlos, and say a uh, professional maintenance. Professional maintenance. Perfect. All right. Thank you. So, guys, we have publicity stunt. In this case, um, what is the meaning of publicity stunts? What do you think um, are publicity stunts? Any idea? A planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Okay. A planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Yes, very good. That is correct. Okay. Um, so let's see. Publicity stunts. 
So let me go ahead and, and take notes about that, okay? Let's add ooh, letter A, give me one second, here, okay? All right, so what about, what about bundling? Mm -hmm. No, let's move to letter C, public relations. Mm -hmm. No, what about loyalty, uh, loyalty offerings? What are loyalty offerings, guys? Any idea? No? Institutes. Yes, okay. So loyalty offerings are personalized incentives. Okay, personalized. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Yeah. Those are um, ofertas de fidelidad. Okay, yeah. So personalized incentives. What about sampling? Sampling? The promotion of a product by distributing samples of it. Yes, so the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it, all right? So letter E, perfect. So in this case, sampling means a... Um, Muestreo. That is the name in Spanish. Okay. Let's try to resolve the other ones. Right. So, uh, what is the meaning of public relations? The professional maintenance of a favorable public image. All right. Very good. So, let me see. Um, which is missing, um, letter B, bundling. Mm -hmm. It is going to be What is the meaning of bundling? Bundling, uh, bundling means empaquetado, okay? Uh, like, like packages, como paquetes, okay? Bundling. Uh -huh. Offering several products for sales as one combined product. Yes, all right. And uh, publicity stunts are ideas publicitarias okay ideas publicitarias publicity stunts yeah okay very good all right so let's move okay once again just for you to make sure to get the vocabulary publicity stunts are ideas publicitarias bundling empaquetados paquetes okay que se combinan, right? For example, um, we can mention this type of internet service and sometimes TV service and also landline, right? So, un empaquetado donde nos dan la tele, el cable de televisión, right? También nos dan eh, línea fija. Eso es un bundling. Es como un empaquetado. So, we also have public relations. You know what that is, right? Relaciones públicas. Loyalty offerings, uh, this means oferta de fidelidad. Loyalty, fidelidad, yeah? And sampling, muestreo, okay? So sampling um, is actually whenever you see people in the supermarket giving you actually something, right? In this case, samples of different products, como muestreo de, de diferentes productos, okay? In the supermarket, it's really common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they give you samples, muestras, okay? 
Yeah. Very good. So let's move. Then let me ask you something. Okay. In your personal opinion, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? We are talking about restaurants. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? This could be a starter. This could be a main course. This could be a drink. This could be a dessert. But what would you do? I want to know what would you do to introduce a new menu item? What would you do? Mm -hmm. Remember that we have those type of strategies, okay? We call them strategies. So which of those strategies would you use? Or would you use a different one? Remember that we have different strategies. Probably you know something that it is not mentioned right there. So what would you do to introduce a new menu item? I would like to hear some of you. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would you do? You have the options right here, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be a market study. Also. Okay, all right. It could be, yes, perfect. To evaluate what, what the customers actually prefer, right? Yes, yes. it could be, perfect. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Uh, me, teacher. Yes. In my case, I, I'll mix... Uh, some strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them will be with the publicity and the other with the samples. Yeah. When a customer buy me a, an item, I will add a little sample of the new product and with an, a little explanation. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That could be a good strategy. Yeah. Excellent. So now that you mentioned that, eh, Jose, this is for everybody, right? So what do you think about giving free samples of new products? Do you think that is a good strategy? Yes or no? Mm, what do you think? Uh -huh. Is it good, bad? Does it make any difference? Uh -huh. Yeah. What do you think about that strategy? Yeah, for me, it's a good strategy. Okay. So we have to make a, a little uh, studio. What is a study? studio? A study? A little study of the marketing, of the market, of the and market. the needs the people have. And if my product have the potential, I will give a little sample. And the benefits will be the double. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I agree. I think that this will be a good strategy because um, as you mentioned before, people would know, right, what your product is about. So I think that that, that will be a good strategy, but you need to invest, right? So, it could be um, something good, but um, also you need to go ahead and take into account the budget that you have and everything, right? But yes, it could be a good um, a strategy, giving samples. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. So now let's move and let's talk about this. Um, help us reading this information, Juan Jose. All of this. Okay. Read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategy you will consider implementing. Yes. Pro provide free food sampling of your new product. Add new items to your website. Use social network site to share the information about your new product. 
advertise the product in the white space on of a receipt mm -hmm. receipts yes give give a promotional offer that include the new item to customer after a recent visit perfect thank you so those are some strategies to introduce a new menu item yeah as you can see right here uh we mentioned social network that nowadays this is really common right social media is useful for you to actually sell uh everything right you can go ahead and, and add some uh post right you can share some information through probably emails right you can send emails to different companies right to different customers and also you can create websites right you can create your own website and you can go ahead and and, and add publicity right there yeah so um those are strategies okay provide free food samplings of your new products yeah samplings this one is very common add new items to your website right mm -hmm. use social network sites to share the information about your new products and this is not only facebook or instagram or uh, gmail right it's also whatsapp uh, tiktok which is so popular right now right there are many sites so advertise the products in the white space of the receipt mm -hmm. yeah uh, factura right the white space imagine even that is a strategy right so give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit Mm, yeah, give a promotional, like uh, it could be um, a pen, right? It could be, uh, I don't know, sometimes they give cups, right? Or t-shirts or caps. There are many things, right? Mm -hmm. Those are strategies, yeah? So now let's move, okay? We are going to start by talking about could and might. Uh, make sure you open the class because we are going to use this material later on, okay? Because you are going to create something. So right now, let's focus on grammar, okay? So the topic for today that we have is going to be could and might. So we use could and might to make suggestions, yeah? We use could and might to give uh, or make suggestions, all right? And what are suggestions? Suggestions are like weak advice when you use the models could and might, yeah? So suggestions, advice, consejos, sugerencias, okay? And we have the structure. As you can see right here, we have subject plus could, plus verb in present, and we also have the complement. And we have the example. We could, we could use, verb in present, we could use social media to spread the word. What is the meaning of spread the word? What is the meaning of that idiom? That is an idiom. So what uh, does it mean? Uh, spread the word? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Esparcir. Very good. Yes. Esparcir, right? In this case, uh, spread the word means exactly that, right? Whenever you want to make visible something new, when you want to, everybody knows about something, yeah? So you spread the word, yeah? Sometimes good news and bad news, they spread so fast, right? They spread the word, yeah? So, and we also have might, and we have the structure, subject, might, 
verb in present and complement. So we have the example. We might use social media to spread the word. Yeah. We have the same example right there. One is with could and the other one is with might. We use could and might to make suggestions or advice. Okay. Now, but which is the difference? Because if we can use both, but what is the difference, right? So um, help us reading could, please, uh, Jorge Antonio and Eduardo might. Okay, George, from the title, okay, from could and might and everything, okay. Could and might, how to use might and could. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. Use cool and might to make formal suggestion or request. Use cool to make a suggestion. Use cool to make suggestions. You could talk to your manager about building, building products for the promotional events. You could generate business in a community event. Okay. My often use with one or like to add politeness. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to tell a promotional event along holiday like Black Friday. Okay. Thank you. All right. So first of all, we are going to focus on pronunciation, okay? So as you can see, we have this one, which is bundling. Bundling, yeah, bundling, yeah. And then we also have this one, which is event, event, yeah. So it says that we use could to make suggestions and we use might and read this. Might is often used with want or like to add politeness yeah what is the meaning of politeness what is it amabilidad yeah politeness yeah and we have the examples you could talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event yeah and then we have this one. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity, yeah? So in this case, might is often used with want and like. That means that we are going to have like this, might want, might like. And could with whatever verb. You could talk, you could generate, etc. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see if we are uh, getting the topic. It says complete the sentences using could or might. Okay. We have the first one. We could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. What about number two? The boss might, 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 huh? might want to start the event with a speech. What is the meaning of a speech? Discurso. Un discurso. Very good. What about number three? The sales team. Cool. Good. Uh -huh. Could try to bundle up the food with collectible mugs. Right? Tazas coleccionadas. Collectible mugs. Okay. Number four. The manager might. 
or like. my my like. excellent the manager might like to launch what is the meaning of launch What's a this? new line yes launch means a eh, lanzar right lanzar. yes might like to launch a new line of kids meals what is the meaning of meals meals comida alimento comidas right very good we have five number five the event cool good the event could be a schedule for christmas to increase sales and what about number six the store Wait. my want right so the store might want to use a loyalty offering que dijimos que era loyalty offering guys mm -hmm. Yeah, what was loyalty offering? No idea. Loyalty offering means ofertas de fidelidad. Yeah, loyalty offering. For people who do business with us frequently. Yeah. Do you have any doubt? Is there a question? No? So remember, we use could. I, I have a question. Yes. Uh, the, the meaning is like a uh, uh, recommendation or, or advice, sorry. Advice. Advice. <laughs> advice. Correct. Um, it, uh, could and might are used to make or ask for uh, suggestions, right? Recommendations, requests, uh -huh. advice. Uh -huh. If we say you could talk, we are saying tú podrías hablar con su jefe. It is a recommendation. Usted le está recomendando. Podrías hacer esto, podrías hacer lo otro. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, the difference is that with might, this one is really um, polite. Es más amable que could. Could is, is like a straightforward, directo. And might, polite. Uh -huh. And we use Please. and like. Sorry, could yeah. this uh, like the order? Similar, no. Um, it's not like an order, but um, it is really a straightforward, but it's not like an order. Okay. It's for example, when my boss says, um, you could um, give me the reports, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, but in that case, um, yes, you can say like, could you give me the reports? It is like a request. Mm -hmm. Ese es un pedido, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Now, thank you. Now, uh, you might want, you might want, it's like saying, eh, puede que quieras, puede que quieras, and you might like means, uh, pueda que eh, te guste, yeah. So might want and might like, they have different interpretation. Okay. Se interpretan de una manera distinta. And could es podría. Uh -huh. And might want means pueda que quieras. And might like puede que te guste hacer esto y lo otro. Es más polite. La sugerencia es un poco menos directa. 
But of course, uh, the one that we use the most is put because it's straightforward. Mm -hmm. Right? That is actually that, the difference. Now is your time. Let's create, this is individually, okay? Let's create one sentence using could and one sentence using might, yeah? One could and one might. You decide if you're going to use my want or my like. It's your choice, right? You decide. So it's easy. Uh, first of all, make sure you do not forget to use a capital letter. What is the meaning of capital letter? Letra mayúscula. Okay. Capital letter means letra mayúscula. Make sure you do not forget to use a capital letter to start the sentence and a period to end it. Y punto y final para finalizar. Okay? Write it. And send it to the chat. Y me la manda al chat. Yeah? I'll give you uh, four minutes, okay? So create it and send them to the chat. One and one, but I think that I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to. One with good and one with might. Okay, once you're done, send them to the chat. Okay, cuando termine, mándelas al chat para ver cómo si están bien o le falta algo. Okay. You may like to come early. You could finish the work before. Okay. 
I see the secretary could go to the event at home and the supervisor might want to report this Friday. Yes, um, let me see. The only observe, well, you could finish, okay, you could hand in the March, you could hand in the March reports and I might like, Okay, um, Juan Jose, just remember that Friday goes with capital letter, okay? Remember that proper nouns are always with capital letters, okay? Um, Juan Jose, the secretary could go to the event. Yes, Friday eh, va con letra mayúscula la F, porque es un nombre propio. Todos los nombres propios van con letra mayúscula. Okay, thank you. Very good. She could take the children with her too, she might get that job. Yes, Maurice. You could, okay, Jonathan, you will organize the next vacation for us. They might want. Uh -huh. In this case, they might want to, to get along, okay? They might want to get along. Uh, they might like to taste our new desserts. We could try to find a new way to show our new restaurant. You can make me a coffee, please. Okay. My sister might like to go. My sister might like to go to the cinema. To go to the cinema on the weekend. Mm -hmm. And Ellie, you could meet. Well, me tomorrow. He might, mm, okay, he might, he might write a report today without the S, Nelly. And you could meet up, you could meet. Just the last one, Nelly, without S, all right? without S, yeah. Okay, let me see. Uh-huh, like that. Yes, very good, like that. Okay, guys, let's continue, all right? If you don't have any question, any doubt, let's continue. Yeah, do not forget about this rule, okay? Because those are rules that we need to keep in mind, yeah? Oh, and something else, guys, is this. Uh, if we have, for example, you might want to, yeah, look at this. You might like to, because I can see that some of you uh, have not added to. And whenever you have another verb, we need to use to, okay? Let's move, all right. So now let's take a look at the steps in an action plan, yeah? Let's take, the look at those steps that we need to follow. As you can see right here, there are many questions that we need to ask ourselves whenever we need to follow an action plan. So let me ask you something. What is an action plan? What is an action plan for you? I would like to know what do you think about that? What is it? When you uh, hear the, uh, this actually uh, phrase, action plan, what does it mean for you? Do you follow action plans at work or no? Yeah. How would you define action plan in your own words? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Now, do we have someone that works probably in a position um, where you need to follow action plans? Yes, me teacher. Okay, so what is it? Um, mm -hmm. When do you follow action plans? When I try to 
improve uh, process. Perfect. Okay. Whenever we want to improve processes, right? Whenever we want to introduce new products, yeah, to the market or to the menu, right? Whenever we want to improve something, whatever thing, right? Mm -hmm. We follow action plans. Very good. So we have, as you can see right here, we have five questions that we need to ask ourselves whenever we want to uh, follow the steps in an action plan. Yeah, those are five questions. So we have the first one. The first one is what action or change will happen? Yeah, what action or change will happen? Who will carry it out? Who will carry it out? Yeah, then when will it take place and for how long? Yeah, what resources are needed to carry out the change? And the last one, communication. Who should know what? Those are the steps or the questions that we need to ask in order for us to follow an action plan. Yeah. So we have um, different uh, scenarios. And what we need to do is that we need to uh, choose the question that answers this. So we have the first one. Um, Juan Jose, can you please read the first one? The drink will be available during Valentine's Day mm -hmm. in a promotion that continues through February. Okay, so which is the question? The answer is that. Letter C. Correct, that one is letter C, right? So we are answering when will it take place and for how long, okay? Very good, so this one is letter C, okay? Now, uh, pronunciation, Valentine's Day, okay? Valentine's. Number two, George, can you please help us reading number two? And if you know the answer, please. Yeah. The chef created the, rece the receipt for oh. the drink. The, the mm -hmm. manager approved of it. And the, adver the advertising staff will be responsible to, mar to market the product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know the answer? Which question? Is letter B. Correct. Who, right? That is correct. That will be letter B, okay? Now, remember, uh, just for you to remember pronunciation, recipe, la receta, okay? Recipe, very good. What about number three? Can you please help us reading number three, Eduardo? Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, number three. Uh, best adversity mm -hmm. board in staff will stay in communication to carry out the step to complete the introduction of the drink. Okay. Now say advertising. Oh. Yeah, advertising. Which mm -hmm. is the the question for number three? Letter E. Letter E. Letter E. Okay, very good. That is correct. Letter E. Okay. Uh, can you please help us reading the next one, Jose Bernardo? Okay, teacher. The manager requested extra funding for this project. The drinks is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Okay. Which question? Uh -huh. Letter D. Correct. The resources, right? Los recursos. The resources that you are going to need. Yeah. Los recursos. And the last one. Emerson, can you please read that one? 
A new drinks is going to introduce the new menu. To the menu, okay. So that one is going to be letter A. A, A right? What action or change will happen? Well, the change is that a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Yeah. So you see, we need to answer all of those questions in order for us to create a good action plan. Okay. Those five questions. Yeah. Now let's move and it's your turn. You're going to work in teams, right? What you need to do is the following. It says, in pairs, you are going to use the steps, not in pairs, I'm going to assign three people per room. In pairs, use the, in trios, you are going to use the steps above. That means the, the previous one, those five, yeah? As an example, to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant. Do you remember the fast food restaurant that you created yesterday? So you are going to continue with that. Define the strategies that you will use in your action plan, okay? And then you are going to present it to the class. In this case, what we are going to do is the following, okay? This is my example. This is my example. I created this just for you to check the example, yeah? So it says, a new dessert is going to be introduced to the menu. That's what I chose. I chose a dessert. You can choose a dessert, a drink, a starter, a main course, a pastry, whatever you want. Yeah, whatever you want. So, and I added the steps. You can see. Emerson helped us reading all of the steps. Yes, These examples of the steps in yeah. the action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. Mm -hmm. That is, what action or change will happen? A new dessert is going to introduce to the menu. The chefs create the recipe for the dessert. The manager approves it, and the advertiser staff will be responsible to make it the product. Okay. Let us see. When will it take place and for how long, Emerson? The dessert mm -hmm. will be available during the Valentine's Day in the promotion that continues throughout February. Yes. Now, what resources are needed to carry out the change. The manager requested extra funding for this project. The dessert is made for flour, flour, chocolate, and yellow, but they are not very expensive. Okay, and the last one, communication. Mm -hmm. Who should know what? The advertising board and in, in staff will stay in the communication to carry out the step to complete the introduction of the dessert. Okay, very good. So in this case, as you can see right here, yeah, uh, I have added the five questions and we have answered those five questions, okay? Yeah, with the new product that I'm, introducing to the menu, which is a dessert, yeah? So you are going to do the same, but with a different product, yeah? Yes, okay, open the class, open the class, and I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present once you hear your name. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Alvarez. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Carla. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marian. Sí. Eh, Marina Jancy Sandoval Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Eh, let me see. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes, thank you. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Wendy. And Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. Present. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's work on this. I'll give you around five to eight minutes. Okay. So you can go ahead and work on this. Uh, let me make available the, the screen sharing. Okay. Yes. como el que a create a sentence using cool and one using my ah no no es ese verdad puede ver la pantalla uy espérame uy 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 ajá Right. Do you have any question, guys? Not yet, teacher. Mm. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Do you have any doubt? At the moment, no, teacher. Okay, perfect. No. Hello, do you have any question? Yeah. Okay. Tell me. Este, realmente queríamos que nos dijera qué es lo que vamos a hacer exactamente. Okay. So what you are going to do first of all is the following, okay? Um as you can see right here, this is the activity. Okay? So what you need to do is that you are going to create, you are going to write a basic plan. And what is the plan? The plan is going to be those five, um, I would say, items that we have here. So the first question for you to answer is this one. But first of all, what you need to take into account is the product. 
the item that you are going to introduce. Remember that we are talking about restaurants, right? So it should be a drink, a dessert, a main course, um, a starter, right? So that's what you are going to choose. Once you have chosen that, you are going to start answering those questions like I did, yeah? With your own information about that. That's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, primero que nada, tiene que elegir qué item va a introducir usted al mercado. En este caso, estamos hablando de restaurantes. Es por eso que yo menciono que deben de eh, elegir ya sea una bebida, una entrada o lo que usted quiera, un postre, una bebida, una entrada, un plato fuerte, lo que usted quiera, que vaya a ser nuevo en su menú, porque eso es lo que está haciendo. Está eh, lanzando un nuevo producto, un, algo nuevo al mercado. Cuando usted ya tenga eso, va a responder estas cinco preguntas que nos ayudan a nosotros a realizar un plan de acción eh, que sea útil para que nosotros tengamos éxito en el lanzamiento del producto. Y como usted lo ve acá, yo lo fui haciendo exactamente respondiendo pregunta por pregunta. What action or change will happen? ¿Qué es lo que va a cambiar? Pues lo que va a cambiar es que un nuevo postre está siendo lanzado al menú. Luego, letter B, who will carry out? ¿Quién lo llevará a cabo? Bueno, ¿quién lo va a llevar a cabo? Va a ser el chef. ¿Cómo lo va a hacer el chef? He is going to create the recipe for the dessert. El manager lo va a probar. Y así sucesivamente lo que está escrito aquí. Usted le va a ir cambiando según su producto. Ok. Uh -huh. Y así vaya respondiendo todas las preguntas hasta llegar a la quinta. Ok. Ok, ya, okay. ya. Yeah, yeah. Vamos right. a un producto ahí. Okay. Yes, and you continue with the steps. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. The, me the chef, the chef create mm -hmm. a main course. But in the second box, with who will carry it with, out? You okay, know, then no okay. Let, let, let it let it be. Uh, I, I I pay the reach in social media or social network. Mm -hmm. I pay social network for the promo. No sé, promocionar el producto. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh. Eh, es, maybe, maybe I will pay for publish in social media. Eh, post 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 on social media okay, uh, social yeah. media. y para como para decir como para promover verdad promover uh, to promote to promote uh, to promote um, the product okay yeah so you will pay to promote uh, the next Sí. When I will get uh, take place in for how long? Mm -hmm. The main course will be available during vacation, the next vacation. 
Okay. Is called. Uh, I I'm, I'm sorry. A question. Um, yes. how do you say Semana Santa? Holy Week. Holy Week. Yes. Holy Week. Okay. The main course will be available on Holy Week. On next Holy Holy Weeks. Holy Week. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Letter D. What resources are needed to carry out the change? How do, how do you say in Spanish resources? Resources are recursos. Cursos. Cursos. Okay. Cursos. okay. okay. Um, uh, I contract more personal. Mm -hmm. Maybe, more, maybe. More yes. personal. That is true. Yeah. What resources are needed to carry out the change? Probably, yeah, more personal, or, right? Or, or, or I or I have a or I have more table in the place in the in my in my job place more more table uh, available. Yeah. More tables available because it's going to be crowded, right? Okay. So you will need more staff. Mm -hmm. The ingredients, mention whatever in the ingredients, right? Uh, probably uh, tables, uh, more staff, resources. Uh, Solo recursos. Okay. Utilize. Okay. Um, uh, Letter F. How do you say contratar? Hire. 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 Yeah. We hire two waiters. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And ten tables. Okay. Communication, letter E. Communication, who shall know that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esto es como, hacerlo, algo así, como... Um, the communication is eh, básicamente quienes van a estar eh, sabedores de, de, de este lanzamiento. Quienes. Oh. Ajá. Pues el marketing department, ¿verdad? El marketing department, probablemente el departamento de mercadeo. Okay. ¿Quién más podría estar encargado? Los jefes. Yeah. Communication department. Yeah, the communication department también. Uh -huh. The owners. The owners. Uh -huh. The CEO. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Let me see the other team. For example, right the in the um, available during the holidays and continue and uh, I don't know, in, in, in April for all month. Yeah, we can do, do it for the month. It's a great. Okay.
Okay, you finish? Or no yet? No, no teacher. No oh. What in the third question? Okay. The next one is what resource are needed. Hmm? We need a type beverage. I don't know. Could be a choice. We can use a receipt of the mojito, for example. It's yes. simple to do it. I agree. The answer is similar. For example, the manager requests um, Chrome for this project and the different uh, ingredients. Um, for example, simple soda. Um, how how mean in in English um, yerba buena? Or the other flowers? For example, here in Santa Ana serve a uh, mojito Okay. Okay, ahorita. Esta, la logra ver. Oh. Esa es la espetada. Espetada de camarón. Yes. Ok, quizás no lo vamos a traducir porque espetada, no sé, o, o shrimp espetada. <laughs> In new makers. O oh, espetada shrimp le vamos a poner. Ok. Ok. Qué bueno se ve. Súper bueno. Y por qué bien otras imágenes. Ahí, ahí hay otra de carne y todo eso. Ok. Espetada. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay ready yes yes teacher. Okay. perfect all right so let me call you back to the main room okay so we can mm -hmm. present yeah okay Okay, guys, ready, Juan Jose? Hello? <laughs> you ready? Um, so, a little so, bit. A little bit. 
Okay, go ahead and present, okay? You and your team, I don't know if they are here. Okay. Yeah. What action or change would happen? Mm -hmm. A main core is going to be introduced to the menu. Yeah. Its name is Penda of Shrimps. Okay. Um, who will carry it out? Mm -hmm. uh, the chef, the chef um, create uh, the new makers with jumbo shrimp and vegetables. Okay. Uh, the makers, uh, when will it take place and for long? Mm -hmm. um, the main course will be available on the next Holy Week. Okay. Uh, what resources are needed to carry out mm -hmm. the change? We need to buy uh, vegetables, potatoes, salads, new recipes, tables, and hair to waiters. Okay. Uh, communications, who should know what? Okay. Uh, the marketing department, the owners, the chairman, and some clients that we will talk about it, the new product. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It sounds delicious. All right. Let's yes. see. Um, okay, Jose Bernardo, Mariam, and Marina. Yes, who is going to present? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Give me a sec, please. Right. Okay. In our case, the menu is going to have more variety with a new beverage. Okay. A new kind of coffee. The uh, the people who will be in charge is a new barista. A bartender. The, okay. Bartender. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, he created a new cafe receipt and was approved for the members. Okay. It will take place place in, after the national barista championship and it will keep in a new menu okay the bartender requested many tropical fruits and capamara cafe for the new receipt okay the staff will be in charge to communicate to all people about the new cafe during the championship okay very good all right, so you are going to uh, get a lot of customers, I think. Everybody loves coffee, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, Jonathan and Pablo. Okay. Uh, the lemon pie okay. and you just are going to introduce them to the menu and the chef create is receipt for the dessert. The mm -hmm. boss approved it and trained the delegate, the marketing department for the advertisements. Yeah. Um, uh, the this will be able during Mother's Day in the promotion that continue through May. Yes. The boss requests extra funding to the for this project, and mm -hmm. the dessert is made with flour lemon syrup and milk okay. uh, the okay all right thank you uh, from let me see well from carlos claudia mauricio and nelly who is going to present Yes, thank you. Um, we, the is Tropical Festival. 
and what action or change will happen and the user is going to be introduced to the menu we will carry it up uh, the chef the chef created the receipt for the dessert the manager approved it and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product Mm -hmm. When will take place and for how long? The dessert will be able, if you love, during Easter week in a promotion that continues through April. What resources are needed to carry out the sharings? The manager requested extra funding for this project. The dessert is made of mango jelly and vanilla ice cream, but they are not very expensive. Mm -hmm. And communication, who should know what? Mm -hmm. The advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry up the steep, steps to complete introduction of the dessert. Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, steps. Okay, uh, steps. Very good. I think that that sounds really delicious. Mm -hmm. Mango jelly. Yeah. We need that because it is really hot nowadays, right? Yes, very good. Thank you. All right. So then the last team. So from Emerson, George, and Kenya. Well, teacher. Yeah. Uh, our new products are drinks. Mm -hmm. There is a mojito. A new drinks is going to introduce the menu. The bartender created a receipt for the drinks, mm -hmm. and the manager approved it. In the advertising staff will be responsible to the make of the product. Okay. And uh, the drinks will be available, available during the holidays mm -hmm. that continue throughout the old months. Okay. The managers required extra funding for the project. The drinks is made with uh, uh, white rum, sugar, sugar syrup, lemon juice, soda, and mine leaves. Okay. That the advertising breaths board and staff will stay on the communication for the carry out of the beverage. That's okay. all. Very good. Thank you, Emerson. All right, guys. So yes, well done. Okay. Right now, what we are going to do is we are, we are going to take the listening quiz, the first one. Okay. So let's take the first listening quiz. All right. So I will send it uh, here. Uh, to the chat for the ones that probably do not have the spreadsheet. And the passcode is listening, okay? Remember to add your full name, please. Okay, full name. Okay, I'm going to play the audio three times. Okay, three times. Today, three times. Let me know once you're in. Yeah, the first listening, the first one, we have two. Let me know if you're in. Yes. Ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, who is not ready? Who is not ready? All of you are ready? Okay. So here we go with the first time. Just let me make sure I put to, to share the first one. Um, okay, so here we go. Excuse me, do you yeah. have any keys or money in your pockets? No. No, I think I've taken everything out. Okay, go ahead and walk through the body scanner. Will I feel anything? No, sir. Just walk through and keep your hands in the air. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. We need to do some additional screening. Sorry, sir. Please what? come this way. 
Did I? Did you find something? Relax, sir. Okay. I'm going to open your carry-on bag. Uh -huh. As I'm going through it, please do not try to touch it. But I mean, let's uh... let's see here. Um, first of all, sir, you can't take any liquids like this bottled water past this point. Uh, well, I really can't drink any other kind of water. Sierra Springs is the only bottled water I drink. Sorry, and I... sorry, sir. Oh. And sir, what's this? What? No, no, sir. You cannot bring a lighter on the plane. But I don't smoke. I well, mean, you still can't bring it on the plane. Yeah, but I have it just in case of emergencies, you know, as an emergency fire starter in case the plane crashes into a dark forest. Sir, you'll have to leave that here. Oh. What's this? Uh, what, well, that's my pocket knife. A pocket knife? It's almost a foot long. Well, it's a special knife given to me by my grandfather, but I only use it to peel apples and fruit. You know, things like that. Sir, I'm sorry, but you can't take that on the plane. In fact, uh, do you have any other prohibited items in your bag? Well, I, I don't... Mean, didn't you read the sign back there explaining all the items that were not allowed on board? Well, I started to read it, and then I got a little distracted. A but... little? Sir, how many times have you flown on an airplane? Uh, it's been a while. I think the last time I traveled by plane was about... Uh, 1960... Sir, why don't you come with me? What? I think my supervisor would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go with the second time, okay? Excuse me. Do you yeah. have any keys or money in your pockets? No, no. I think I've taken everything out. Okay, go ahead and walk through the body scanner. Will I feel anything? No, sir. Just walk through and keep your hands in the air. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. We need to do some additional screening. Sorry, sir. Please what? come this way. Did I? Did you find something? Relax, sir. Okay. I'm going to open your carry-on bag. Uh -huh. As I'm going through it, please do not try to touch it. But, I mean... Let's, uh... let's see here. Um, first of all, sir, you can't take any liquids like this bottled water past this point. Uh, well, I really can't drink any other kind of water. Sierra Springs is the only bottled water I drink. Sorry, and I... sorry, sir. Oh. And, sir, what's this? What? No, no, sir. You cannot bring a lighter on the plane. But I don't smoke. I well, mean, you still can't bring it on the plane. Yeah, but I have it just in case of emergencies, you know, as an emergency fire starter in case the plane crashes into a dark forest. Sir, you'll have to leave that here. Oh. What's this? Uh, well, that's my pocket knife. A pocket knife? It's almost a foot long. Well, it's a special knife given to me by my grandfather, but I only use it to peel apples and fruit, you know, things like that. Sir, I'm sorry, but you can't take that on the plane. In fact, uh, do you have any other prohibited items in your bag? Well, I, I don't... Mean, didn't you read the sign back there explaining all the items that were not allowed on board? Well, I started to read it, and then I got a little distracted. A but... little? Sir, how many times have you flown on an airplane? Uh, it's been a while. I think the last time I traveled by plane was about... Uh, 1960? Sir, why don't you come with me? What? I think my supervisor would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, ready, or do you need me to play it the last time? Should I play it? Well, one more time. Okay, perfect. Excuse me, do you yeah. have any keys or money in your pockets? No, no, I think I've taken everything out. Okay, go ahead and walk through the body scanner. Will I feel anything? No, sir, just walk through and keep your hands in the air. Okay, uh, uh, uh. We need to do some additional screening. Sorry, sir, please what? come this way. Did I, did you find something? Relax, sir, okay? I'm going to open your carry-on bag. Uh -huh. As I'm going through it, please 
do not try to touch it. But, I mean... Let's, uh, let's see here. Um, first of all, sir, you can't take any liquids like this bottled water past this point. Uh, well, I really can't drink any other kind of water. Sierra Springs is the only bottled water I drink. Sorry, and I... sorry, sir. Oh. And, sir, what's this? What? No, no, sir. You cannot bring a lighter on the plane. But I don't smoke. I well, mean, you still can't bring it on the plane. Yeah, but I have it just in case of emergencies, you know, as an emergency fire starter in case the plane crashes into a dark forest. Sir, you'll have to leave that here. Oh. What's this? Uh, what? what? That's my pocket knife. A pocket knife? It's almost a foot long. Well, it's a special knife given to me by my grandfather, but I only use it to peel apples and fruit. You know, things like that. Sir, I'm sorry, but you can't take that on the plane. In fact, uh, do you have any other prohibited items in your bag? Well, I, I don't... Mean, didn't you read the sign back there explaining all the items that were not allowed on board? Well, I started to read it, and then I got a little distracted. A but... little? Sir, how many times have you flown on an airplane? Uh, it's been a while. I think the last time I traveled by plane was about, uh, 1960. Sir, why don't you come with me? What? I think my supervisor would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, no. Okay. So let me see this course, okay? Uh, submit your response, okay? Let me see. Okay, I got Carlos Vladimir, I got Claudia, I got Emerson, I got Jonathan, Jose Bernardo, Juan Jose, Nelly. Okay, let me see. Okay. All right, was it difficult? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Um, all right, so now let's continue with the class, okay? We are going to take the second one in about 10 minutes, all right? Right now we are going to continue with the class. Um, please, Emerson, be Carla, and Nelly, be Mr. Sanders. Luigi is going to introduce a new kit of the spice pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new products. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, it could discount the green pepper stick that I never sell, and customer will get the green pepper stick and you will them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think so of that. Sounds like a good idea. You may uh, want to have emotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Uh -huh. Oh, my! I will call, call you later. Luigi is outside the re the restaurant giving the free samples, but the isn't telling people pizza is a spicy spice, super spice. Super, yeah, spicy, yeah, spicy. spicy. Yes, very good. All right. So, what is the meaning of a spicy? Picante. Yes, picante. Do you like a spicy things? Or no? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. yes, it is delicious, right? Mexican food, actually, Mexican food is a spicy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys. Now, let's uh, look at this, okay? It says, look at the conversation and complete the sentences, 
yeah? Let's complete the sentences based on the conversation. Number one, you, Mm -hmm. You, you could, could, yes, very good. You could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Mm -hmm. Number two, you might, might, might. Uh -huh. might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. In three, you cool. could offer, right? You could offer a discount to the people who bought ticket for the event. Yes. Okay. Just for you to uh, remind about could and might. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. And right now we are going to move to a, a speaking time. Okay, we're going to move to the speaking time. We are going to practice with the following. We have a lot of questions today. What is your favorite color and why? What is your favorite shopping center and why? Do you like hiking? Yes or no? Advice. What advice would you give someone who is failing in their studies? Right. Could, might, what advice would you give someone who can't sleep well at night? What advice would you give someone who is always late? Okay, what advice, right? Okay, Marina, then what about this one? Do you prefer to spend your free time with other people or alone? Do you have any hobbies? What do you usually do in your free time? Okay, we are going to practice with those. I want you to please practice speaking, guys. Okay, do not be afraid of making mistakes. Try. Yeah, practice, practice. Okay, and let me see. Let me recreate the room so you can practice with somebody else. Okay. Um, okay, guys, Kenya, can you practice with Jonathan? Yes, but I want to share the, the screen. I am trying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I am looking. Um. Okay. And Claudia, what about you? Siman. <laughs> okay. Because um, they have science. And why? I worked in Siman. Uh, ah, you work in Siman. You work? I worked on Siman. Um, 
around 20 years ago. And then I, I liked the Galerias shopping center. It's my favorite. The next. Um, my favorite shopping center is Galerias because okay. uh, there are uh, many places to eat and okay. the food floor is very good. Okay, yes. The safety is, I don't know how to say, teacher, how to say tranquilo. Um, relaxing, quiet. Oh, relaxing. Relaxing and quiet, okay. Huh? Okay. I like spend time on Starbucks, drinking a good coffee, reading something, it's a good time. Okay. Yes. Do you Next like Next question. Hiking? Hiking, hiking, what is hiking? Like climbing? Yes, uh, something like that. Uh -huh. okay. But in yeah, hiking actually means like caminatas. Okay. Okay. Yes, I like I like in um mountain mm -hmm. is is nice hiking in, in a cold cold weather. Yes. <laughs> have you okay. have you have you visited um Monte Cristo? Yes. It is beautiful, right? And I think that it is really cold. Yes. Like Capital, Chalatenango. Yes. Have you visited? <laughs> Have you gone to yes. El Pital? Yes. Yes. Really good, right? I think that, but the, the, the actually the, the trip is kind of long. Yes. It's too long. <laughs> to the Pital, yes, it is really also to Monte Cristo, right? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, okay. Uh, but the good thing of uh, going to those places, I think that is that you can breathe fresh air, right? It is really different, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what is actually really nice about going to those places. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And Pablo, what about you? Do you like hiking? Hiking is is hiking or hiking? Hiking. Hiking. Okay. Yeah. Mm, no, I don't like it. like hiking. Okay. No. Do you prefer the beach? Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, I. I like to the beach. <laughs> okay. So, okay, I I prefer much. too because in two places are different experience. Yes. I relax in the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well. Uh, what advice will you give someone who is failing in their studies? Yeah, failing. Uh -huh. Failing, failing yeah. in their failing. studies. Yes. Okay. Filing is like uh, falling or like uh, fallando. Fallando. Mm -hmm. Failing. Huh? Okay. Yes. Advice. What advice would you give someone Ooh. who is from their studies? Maybe that, huh? maybe that he could probably take extra time to study at night. Okay, I tell him or tell her uh, he or she could schedule schedule the day to to take more time to study. Mm -hmm. I. I tell her or tell him that um, 
don't don't drink coffee first one yes because the coffee is Caffeine. Uh, the more energy and relaxing and the other uh, for example uh, you can you could could take a shower mm -hmm. before uh, go to the bed before going okay before going to the bed perfect okay you you could be um uh for me is is uh when i when when to me is difficult um sleep i listen to music mm -hmm. And probably you can drink, um, or you could drink um, tea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 a cut of milk. Mm -hmm. Could be as well. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Con no, what advice would you give? Es como qué consejo le darías a alguien? que esté fallando en sus estudios. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. To drink a cup of coffee. Sorry? Do you prefer this, this, this place or to drink a cup of coffee? No, I don't like coffee. Oh, really? I don't like. Yes, I don't like coffee. And what advice would you give someone who is failing in their studies? Mm. You need a strategy. I, I like to go cycling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Man, Claudia. Okay. I like go to the movies. You, Carlos? I have two hobbies watch movie and uh, listen to the music. And what do you usually do in your free time? What do you usually do in your free time? In my case, watch movies and sleep all day. All day in the morning, in the afternoon. Watch your coffee. <laughs> um, in my free time. I play with my children and watch videos on YouTube. Wake up early. My, my, my up wife, early. my wife work for Ministerio de Trabajo and she has to wake up at 3.30 and go out uh, from our home at 4, 4 p.m., 4 a.m., 4 a.m., because if she takes out five or ten minutes later, if she can't arrive at time to her work. But the advice is wake I, up early. <laughs> yes, and I, I say wake up early and order your time. Order the time, yes. Uh -huh. Organize uh, uh, the activity. Yes. Yes. And take more responsibility because sometimes it's a bad, uh, I don't know how to say that, bad, uh, mm, 
¿cómo se dice, teacher? ¿Cuál es? Un mal hábito. Um, probably is a bad habit. Bad habits, okay. Sometimes it's a bad habit, and we take, we need to take action about it mm -hmm. to to fix that problem. Okay. I prefer to spend You prefer what? Um, I am alone. Alone. Okay. 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 I prefer a both ways. Sometimes I spend a good time with friends, and sometimes I spend time myself alone. You have the balance. Yes. Yes, okay. I have a balance. Yeah. That is good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Pablo, do you have any um, hobbies? Um, yes, I have more hobbies. Uh, my hobbies see or uh, watch to the series in Netflix. <laughs> okay. On Netflix, okay. Okay. And you, do you have any hobbies? Yes, I have two hobbies. Um, I play guitar, I play mm -hmm. guitar, oh. and I play basketball. That's my two hobbies. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you useful do you in your free time? What do you useful do you in your free time? Okay, usually I practice guitar or, or read or read something. I like read too. All right, so you finish? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let me ask you, okay? Um, let's see, Claudia, what is your favorite color and why? Uh, it's blue. And since I remember, I like it. Uh, I don't have a, a specific reason. I feel okay with that color. All right. Perfect. What about you, Jose Bernardo? What advice would you give someone who is failing in their studies? Uh, I will tell the people that don't spend so much time watching uh, videos on YouTube or TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, all right. That is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, uh, let me see, Carlos Vladimir, what advice would you give someone who can't sleep well at night? Uh, drink a glass of water with sugar. Is that true? Yes, <laughs> for me it's effective. Is, is it effective? Well, you know, I have heard about that, but I'm not sure because, I mean, sugar makes you feel hyperactive, right? So I'm like, but I have heard that. Una azucarada. Me bien. Me duerme rapidito. But I have heard that. You're not the only person that, that has told me that. There, there are many people saying that, that you should drink a glass of water with sugar, but... Yes. But, I mean, maybe we should actually taste it, right? Yeah. We need to test that. All right, so um, what advice would you give someone who is always late, Emerson? I say that. Yeah, what advice you can, would you give someone? Huh? 
Go to sleep more early and don't see TV before to go to bed. Before going to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What about you, Jose? What advice uh, would you give someone who is always late for meetings, for classes, right? Me. Hmm. I will tell that prepare all things that we'll use the next day at the last night okay. for save time. Yeah, to save time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Let's go back to the main room, okay, to take the last listening exam. Let's go back. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so let's open the second listening practice, okay? Let's open it. Let me, let me send the link, okay? This is the link and the passcode is listen, okay? As usual, listening. Okay. Okay, let's wait for the other ones that are still joining. Okay, guys, we are going to take the last listening quiz. Please open the link. The last listening quiz for today. The last listening. Yeah, the last listening quiz. Open it. Okay, uh, let me know once you're ready so I can play the audio. I don't miss. Okay, perfect. What about the other ones? The last. Ready. Perfect. Okay, guys, so I'm going to play this audio uh, twice, but if you need an extra time, let me know at the end, okay? So here we go with the first sign. Pay attention, this is about a restaurant, okay? Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, Ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste. Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms on one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and can I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually, uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks, plus a $3 coupon for use with your next order. Huh. Uh, sure, why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And can I have your name? Uh, yeah. Jay Hun. Uh, did you say Jay Hand? No. It's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number? It's 1340 South, 16 East, and the phone number is 340-1870. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half-and-half -half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J. Han. Not hand. Yeah, that's right. At 340 South, 16 East, 340-1817, is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's 1870, not 17. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great, thanks. Okay. 
Now, here we go with the second time, all right? Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste. Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms in one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and could I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Actually, uh, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks, plus a $3 coupon for use with your next order. Huh. Uh, sure, why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And could I have your name? Uh, yeah. J. Han. Uh, did you say J. Hand? No, it's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah, uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number? It's 1340 South, 16 East, and the phone number is 340-1870. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half-and-half -half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J. Han. Not hand. Yeah, that's right. At 340 South, 16 East, 340-1817, is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's 1870, not 17. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great, thanks. Okay, guys. Do you need me to play it once again? Yes. All right, here we go, okay? Hello, can I take your order? Yes, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and green peppers. Would you like anything else? Well, wait, uh, can I make that a half and half pizza? Sure, what would you like on each half? Uh, what toppings do you have? Well, we have Italian sausage, ham, mushrooms, onions, pineapple, black olives, green peppers, bacon, tomatoes, shrimp, clams, and squid. Shrimp, clams, and squid? What kind of pizza is that? Uh, the manager spent some time overseas oh. and thinks his new seafood pizza will be a hit with the customers. But to be honest, the swimmer special, as he <laughs> calls it, is an acquired taste. Uh, I'll pass on that sink or swim special, but I'll have pepperoni and mushrooms in one half and green peppers and Italian sausage on the other. Oh, and could I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right. Would you care for any breadsticks or a beverage with your order? Well, I don't know. Uh, Actually, we have a Friday night special going on right now. Oh. And if you order any large pizza and drink, we'll throw in a free order of breadsticks plus a $3 coupon for use with your next order. Huh. Uh, sure. Why not? And what drink comes with the pizza? Either apple or orange juice. I'll take orange juice. Okay. Your total comes to fifteen nineteen, which includes tax. Okay. And could I have your name? Uh, yeah. J. Han. Uh, did you say J. Han? No. It's Han. Actually, it's a Korean name, but many people have difficulty making it out. Hey, maybe I should change my name to Han. Ah, uh, names are important. Don't change it. Okay. Oh, and your address and telephone number? It's 1340 South, 16 East, and the phone number is 340-1870. Okay, let me repeat your order. A large half-and-half -half pizza. Okay. One half with pepperoni and mushrooms. Yeah. The other with Italian sausage and green peppers. Yeah. Orange juice and your free order of breadsticks. J. Han. Not hand. Yeah, that's right. At 340 South, 16 East, 340-1817, is that correct? Everything except for the phone number. It's 1870, not 17. All right. Thanks for your order. It should arrive at your doorstep in 30 minutes or less, or you'll receive a free small pizza with your next order. Great, thanks. Okay, perfect. Submit your answers, okay? Submit your answers, guys. And well, um, don't worry, we are still practicing, right? So we are going to practice um, through the whole month. So don't worry if you're getting like low scores. Let me go ahead and just check, right? Um, I will also send 
a link for you to uh, practice listening, okay? Yeah. Um, okay, I got most of you, all right? Okay. All right, guys. I will send a link to the WhatsApp group so you can practice this, uh, listening, okay? So you can practice listening. Uh, please, the only person that stay with me is Emerson today. And then the other ones, you may go ahead and rest. Thank you very much for connecting today. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Okay, see you back tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night guys. Teacher. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Good night. Good night, Nelly. Okay, so let's see. Um, all right, Emerson. This actually short space is for us to uh, talk, right? I would like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't know if you would like me to uh, continue in English or if you prefer Spanish, just because it is the feedback. And continue English, no problem. Great. Awesome. All right, Emerson. So the first thing that I would like to know is how long have you been studying English? Um, the first time is that um, and that this program. Okay. Uh, before the the secondary, uh, I don't study English, but I I like. A language and uh, practice with my friends sometimes. Okay. So, all right, perfect. So, um, so is this the first time that you are studying with us, or did you study last year, or this year, or 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 when? Yes, I started last last year. With us, I began in the start. Yes, uh, on regular committee. Okay, got it. All right. Um, okay, so Emerson, which is the most difficult skill for you in English? Which is the most difficult part for you? My difficult parts are uh, how to say interpretar. Interpret. Interpret when mm -hmm. I needed use some connection words mm -hmm. or or the, or for example, for first, first albers. Oh yes, I, it's so difficult. But I, I, I um, practice this for for improve. To improve, yeah. okay, all to right, improve. yes, perfect, okay, Emerson. So now let me ask you. Have you had any issues with the platform? Yeah, I don't have duties uh, now. I'm going to continue to this to this sentence and the uh, and the uh, questions. Yeah, no, okay. go, no problem. No problem. All right, perfect. Yeah. So now let me ask you: How have you felt with our classes? Uh, our module, right? You and the classmates and me, right? How have you felt with the classes, with the dynamic of this class? I know that we have been studying just four days, right? We have had uh, classes just four days. Um, but how have you felt? I would like to know your opinion, right? What do you think about the dynamic of the class? What do you think about the activities? And what do, um, how do you feel with that? I feel I feel great for for the dynamics. Okay. I like the form when you do the the test listening is okay. new for me. Yes. Uh, is is interactive is it in, 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 interactive? Interactive, yeah. It's interactive. I like it. It's okay. uh, congr congratulations. Okay, thank you, Emerson. All right. Okay. So, and how do you feel with the speaking part when you go to the breakout room and you share it with your classmates? Do you think that is a good dynamic for the speaking, or what do you think about that? I think about this. Uh, how do you say the gran ayuda? It is really helpful. It's really helpful the the topics. Okay. The, the... 
Oh, I, I didn't. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. For example, the 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 question the uh, the conversion times is yeah. is great idea. Okay. Be, because because we can't we can try to speak more about the expensive the vocabulary yes yeah. that is this correct is. Mm -hmm. all right and do you have any type of hobby what do you do in your free time i usually play chess when i three times okay really okay yes i, I like chess okay perfect okay you Emerson. Can, you can play chess no i can't no <laughs> right, but that sounds interesting okay that sounds interesting it's yeah it's okay a yeah i think that is uh in order for you to probably um improve uh, um maybe your concentration right uh and all of that yeah i think that is really yes. helpful okay all right so then um what are you doing whenever we are not in classes what do you do to improve your english skills what do you do i usually practice in uh in platforms and others okay. in my case i use the, the application on okay. my cell phone mm -hmm. and in this application, I can't uh, practice uh, listening and okay. speak. Okay. Then the platform uh, is correct my pronunciation and spelling that words and mm -hmm. and, and that I words and and as que yo me equivoco. Okay, in which I fail. And I fail. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay, that is nice, I think. Okay, perfect. Okay, Emerson. Well, um, let's see. My feedback for you is the following, okay? Um, so first of all, I would like to say that I really like that you participate. Probably you don't do it when we are in the main room because sometimes, um, I mean, uh, I would like you to participate even more, right? Because remember that the classes are for you, right? For you all. So you should participate. I don't know if sometimes probably, um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you don't have a good internet connection at some point, right? And probably that's why you don't participate or it's because um, you don't know what to say, right? Or it's because, I don't know, many things can uh, happen, right? But the thing is that I would like you to participate a little bit more. Why? Because in that way you are going to improve, right? And you are going to actually learn probably pronunciation, et cetera, because I'm going to be able to correct you, right? So that's the first thing that I would like to say that I would like you to participate. So once I ask some questions, I would like to listen to Emerson. I would like to listen to your answer, right? To what uh, you need to say or your opinion in this case. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, okay. yeah I need to participate a little bit more. Um, then um, your attitude is really good. I think that you are motivated because you really like the language, right? You like the language and that is something good because in that way, you the learning process is easier for you right because yeah. you like the language so i would say that do not lose that motivation um you know sometimes it can turn a little bit difficult at some point but that's how you learn right because if you get used to if you feel comfortable sometimes uh you are stuck right but right now what we are doing is that we are trying uh that you participate, that you speak, that you improve your listening skills, your reading skills, your grammar skills, everything, right? Because that's the main purpose. Once you reach uh, the next level, which is intermediate two, um, so that you have new vocabulary, right? And that the, that improvement, right, um, is uh, noticeable. That's what we want, right? That you learn in this program. 
Okay. okay. So basically, that's pretty much right. What I needed to ask you. I don't know if you have any questions, something that is not clear, is a doubt that you may have about any topic that we have covered so far. No, no. For for the moment, I I clearly uh, about the class and I understand. Uh, okay. The... All right. Perfect. Well, Emerson, if you have any question, do not hesitate to let me know. Okay, you can send the question to the WhatsApp group or you can send a message to my WhatsApp, right? So I can go ahead and, and actually resolve any type of doubt that you may have. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you, thank very, you very much. much. For on time. Okay. Take care. Okay. Yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.